All right, guys, welcome back to Nifty Network. I'm gonna teach you how to take off your window regulator on a G35 or a G37. All right, and before we get started, um, these are the tools needed. All right, so let's get this taken apart. We will start with the window switch. Just get in there, pop that back like that. Make sure not to like be very like aggressive with it. It will come up. There's a lot of a lot of little clips in here. Um, and then we'll go with undoing. Let me flip this. We'll undo the plugs out of here. That. All right, then once you get the window switch off, you're gonna come up here, just pry, pry back on the on the front side of it because there's a little tab right there. So once the once the rear is popped up, you just slide this part back, and then you're gonna have three 10 mils to take this off, and the door panel will be coming right off. So there's one, there's two. And there's three, and when I'm doing the door panel, I like to pop this guy, this guy down because it's kind of hard to get to when the door panel's off. So just pop that out and then tuck the cord back in there. And then to get the door panel off, I always, I go from the bottom, there's little uh, pop clips in there. Just pull straight forward and the whole door panel will come off. And then once you have the bottom of the door panel off, you're gonna wanna lift up, give it a little wiggle and then you'll see the door log actuator right here and then you'll see another a few other plugs so we'll start with the the speaker plug right here i don't know if you can see that but the little brown one so i undid the clip already and then there's this one right here which is for the seat memory so we'll do that one that kind of frees you up a little bit and if you would have left the the one down here where my fingers are it just it makes it so you can't pull it off and like work with it so come up here and then just slide those forward and then there's gonna be a notch right there that the door lock actuator actually sits in so rotate the cable forward and then come up and same thing with the top just gently slide up on the back these things break easy so don't be too rough with it and same thing just slide that forward so once you have the door panel off there's gonna be a few 10 mils and there's gonna be one plug so I'll start with this plug like that, pop that guy loose. There's one, two, three, four, and five, 10 mils. And then there's there's always like a little, like it's like, like epoxy almost behind this. So just kind of pop that loose there. And then there's a locating pin right here, so don't break that. All right, and then in order to get the window off, you are gonna have to re-plug in your window switch. So this one's probably unnecessary, but I mean, I just plug them all in if, if the plug is right there. We'll go like that. Put the car on accessory mode. And then we're gonna roll it down. So you're gonna see these two little spots right here. There's one here and there's a spot under the speaker. So you're gonna roll it down and then you're gonna see, you're gonna see a little bolt show up on the window regulator and the track basically. So undo this bolt, undo that bolt, and then I'll show you what to do next. Right here. Okay, so once you have your window unbolted, I'll roll it down and get the track off of it. So you can see, like if you come over here, you can see how the track, um, see how the track is away from the, the window now. So I just go all the way down with it. And then I'll come up here and just kind of push lightly with your thumb and the, this window seal will come loose. Go straight up with that. And then to get the window out, you're gonna wanna hold the back corner right here, tilt it forward, and then it slides out the, the front side of the door. All right, now that we got the window out of this, I'm going to remove the window switch again. Um, oops. 
and then we'll be begin taking off the inner uh, hard door panel and on the back side of that will be your regulator and then you'll be able to access your door handle and your door lock actuator and then you can also get to the front side of the window motor so we're going to grab a clip remover and the way i do it is i'll start from like the front of the harness right here so basically there's this is the end and just get your clip remover under there pop that out like that you can kind of just like rock it back and forth until it comes out and then those ones are a pain Make sure not to tug too hard on these wires because they are very thin wires and the likelihood of you ripping the wire before the clip comes loose is pretty high. So just work your way up the harness and then you're going to get to the window motor plug. I wish I could get all this stuff out of the way. So we'll unplug the window motor. And then work our way up the harness. And then once you have the whole harness off like that, just kind of tuck it in the door. Obviously don't shut your door because the door will just shatter all that stuff. And then you'll have bigger problems. So work your way around. Um, there's only bolts on the outside of this black plate in here and they're all 10 mils. So we'll start with that. And then you don't have to worry about your this plate falling off on you because they have this see this like silicone in here and it's it's basically just like a sound detonating thing so that this doesn't rattle on the door um it is very very sticky um it doesn't stay sticky but i mean you have to pry you have to pry it off there's two locating dowel pins also that are just little shiny silver looking circles start there and then work your way around. And then you'll feel it free up. And you're going to want to look inside. Make sure that there's nothing holding back right here. Like, going to catch. Then you're going to lift straight up. And then make sure your door lock actuator isn't in there. And that right there is how you remove a window track and a window regulator on a G35 or a G37.